Hi! Hello, subscribers! Today, I feel the need to talk about something important. Something that I feel needs to be addressed. I've been residing in the back corners of the Onision drama for a while now. Ever since I made the horribly received response to Onision's first video discussing self-harm, entitled Cutters, I made the conscious decision to not really discuss Onision and his videos on YouTube anymore, as not to stir the drama pot and seem obsessed. However, today, something occurred that I feel that the anti-Onision community and even Onision's fans should be aware of. And ignore the background, those are my cats going crazy. A YouTuber by the name of Don't Stand So Close To Me, who has been creating videos and speaking out against Gregory Onision Jackson since 2010, posted the following blog on his website today, or yesterday, preceding a yes-no poll. Weeks ago, I decided not to send an email to what I believed to be Laney Box School because I would get messages telling me not to send it. But now, since Onision is starting back on attacking Christianity through his Facebook along with some new messages telling me to send it, I feel like emailing the school. He seems to be asking for it, and I feel that he deserves it. Some people think I should not send it, so to be fair, I am placing a vote on it, and voting ends tonight at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Should I send Onision's Bible burning? video along with his, all of his anti-Christianity posts to what I believe to be Laney Bots Christian based university? Don't stand so close to me. You are being a stalker. As much as I despise Greg's actions and the things that he says, I do not make it my own mission to try to ruin the lives of people around him, as this comes off like you're doing. You're going to ruin a very valuable education for a teenage wife if you decide to send this email whom is already at home with a son because that you think he's asking for it and he deserves it. No, that's not the right thing to do. Look, I get that you dislike Onision, and that's to say the least. A lot of people do, and a lot of people, including myself, share your view. This isn't unknown to anybody who has been following the anti-Onision community for any length of time. You hate Onision. However, by getting yourself involved in the personal life of somebody who is actively trying to get an education, not only for themselves, but for the child involved in the situation so that the family could have a better future, is highly uncalled for. Lainey, or Taylor, is a young mother, and I'm surprised that she's even in school at all with the amount that she has on her plate. I may not like her husband, hell, I may not even respect her husband, but I can sympathize with her situation. Doing something like this, or even thinking about doing something like this, is completely callous. Because you seem to not realize the impact that this could have on Lainey's future. Doing something like this could see her getting not only kicked out of the college that she and her husband had invested thousands of dollars into, assuming that she goes into this college, or that she's attending this college, something that is extremely risky with a budget that involves a young toddler at home, but it could damage her reputation with the people there because a Christian-based university presumably has a lot of people who are of a religious denominational faith, leading to the downfall of her social life there. Do you not see how harsh and messed up that is? You can voice your dislike of Onision all you want. I've done it, a lot of people on YouTube here have done it, and Everyone in the anti-Onision community does it. When you go as far as to considering damaging someone's personal life just because their husband has different views than they, a line is crossed. You've pushed yourself into stalker territory. If you decide to do this, and it ruins Laney's educational life, Laney and Greg have every right to sue you for defamation of character. I'm unsure about what the laws are about defamation of character in Washington, but I'm certain if something serious happens because of this email, should it be sent, or should you choose to send it, Laney and Greg have a right to sue you. The fact of the matter is, is what Greg decides to post and say about religion, despite the fact that you believe that Laney attends a Christian-based university in the area, are the views of Greg and Greg alone, and do not review or reflect on the views and life of Lainey. It is her life. Lainey is her own person. Unless Lainey herself came out and made statements against religion, Christianity in particular, 
which so far I haven't seen her not I have not seen her do. Yet again, I don't really track or pay attention to either one of them anymore. And there is no evidence that Lainey shares the views that Greg does. Even if she did come out and say that she was against religion, it's no business of yours trying to get involved in their personal lives like this. It's extremely invasive. invasive. I now regret liking the video where you discuss Greg's supposed hypocrisy of hating to a Christian university for Lainey. What business of it is ours? What university Lainey is attending in the first place? Could someone explain that to me? Unless she discloses information about it, then we should probably let it be. Look, if Onision keeps going down the trajectory and path that he has been going down for several months, then he will get his karma in due time. His karma is not for anyone in the internet world, specifically the anti onision community, to try to force upon him and to try to interfere with his life in any way, shape, or form. I guess that you're trying to be fair by posting a poll on this on your website before you choose to send this email, but that doesn't excuse the fact that you have malicious intent or have some sort of malicious intent to try to invade life, the lives of two people involved here. I don't wish harm upon Greg, but what Greg has earned from his actions by doing what he's been doing he will receive when the time is right, unless Lainey, Greg, their son, or pets were in imminent and extreme danger because of anything YouTube related, or were in imminent or extreme danger at all. I see no reason that you would do this, other than for pernicious or malicious. Hell, you confessed right in your blog, before the poll was even posted, that you're doing this just because he, you think he deserves it and has it coming. It says that in fine print. Let me pull up the blog. Alright, he says, with some new messages telling me to send it, I feel, again, like emailing the school. He seems to be asking for it, and I feel that he deserves it. What kind of person are you? By doing this, this is no better than some of what Greg has done. Because, yes, I realize that his abusive actions toward his exes and a lot of other things are not okay. But yet again, invading the personal lives of Greg just because his actions are messed up or have been messed up is also not okay. And can merit police attention if certain things happen. The Too Long Did Not Watch summary of this is YouTube user Don't Stand So Close To Me is seeking to sabotage Laney's education, so it feels like, by sending an email to a Christian based university in Washington that it is suspected that Laney attends about her husband's anti Christianity based stance because he believes that Greg is asking for it. It's going way too far and, and in my opinion, crosses the line between disliking someone a lot and hate driven stalking. I'm going to post a link to the blog, which includes the email that this user plans to send to this university, should he choose to send it. I encourage my viewers to click no on this poll. So far, a majority of people have clicked no on this poll, so it seems like it's going in the right direction. Ami Thomas videos, rancher, dreamer, teenager, and thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click like or subscribe. If you agree or disagree, then feel free to voice your feelings in the comments. I'll see you next time, and have a wonderful day.